So apparently it's going to be impossible to miss on the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. The new Ama Manier 3s are looking nice, and there's a few classic Jordan brand sneakers that are returning next year. But before we get into all that, we'll do a quick recap from this past week and roll the intro. All right. Welcome back to the Beyond Kicks podcast. Charlie. How you doing? I know you got a busy week ahead of you. <laughs> I do. I have a very busy week. I'll give you a little run through. So recording the it. pod on Monday. Typically we record Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so we'll be able to get some clips out and stuff. I think I'm going to kick out a clip later tonight as well. Um, nice. But uh, yeah, so that's been new. Uh, tomorrow night, going to the Wolves game. My buddy Ben uh, won some tickets. So we got some good Let's seats go. to the... Worst team in the league, the Wizards, but uh, it'll be fun to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, regular seasons are wrapping up, and these last few games, regardless of who we're playing, it's kind of crucial for the one or two spot in the West. Um, so kind of going back and forth with the Nuggets. So excited to go to that Wednesday. Yeah. Um, traveling for work, doing content for Power Lodge and stuff, some drone stuff, going to location, location. Thursday morning, 7 a.m., flying out to New York to go see good buddy John Carlo, film a bunch of content for him. Stuff's already gotten crazier in the last couple of weeks um, really? since I was there. And then um, we have a Louis Vuitton party that night, Thursday night. So that's very that's out what of I'm my excited uh, for. norm. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm very I excited. I want to see content from that, man. That's going to be cool. I, we can't really film content. So we were initially, we, yeah, I'm going to bring my Fuji and maybe get some cool like flash photos and like some cool stuff. But we were initially like, they're like, yeah, you can film it. Like this is the pre-party. Like there's another party that's for like one of one pieces. That's like really high net worth individuals. That's like the cheapest items, like 20 grand, like one of those parties yeah. that's more like fancy dancy. But this one's like a DJ, like more of the fun party, which is what I would rather go to, honestly. Um, and then about a sure. week after we got the invite, they said, you can't film. There's going to be too many celebrities there is their word. So I don't know what it entails. I've never been to anything like this. I don't think John right. Carlo has been anything like this. So it'll be fun. Um, it makes sense. It's like, oh, you don't want everyone on camera, of course, like, you know, especially if they're celebrities, but yeah. it'd be cool. It'd be cool to see. I, it. I don't know what it's going to entail. I have, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm a guest, yeah. so <laughs> it'll be fun. Um, Best of honor, baby. Yeah, something like that. Um, and yeah. then Friday afternoon, flying back to Minnesota, a little 24-hour, 30-hour trip, New York. And then yeah. we're having some college friends over Saturday night. So, And then Sunday, Masters week. So we got Masters this weekend. So it's busy, busy. I, I wish I could just stay home and watch golf. Like this party is going to be super fun. It's going to be fun to have friends over, but like master's week is the best week of the year. Like, especially with the PGA and live is split and there's different fields and stuff. It's, they're all coming together. It's the best players in the world, best course in the world. So yeah. Sunday it's, it's golf all day. Speaking <laughs> of that, you made it to complex today. Congratulations. I did. That was How cool sick. Is that? Let me pull it up and screen share it. Um, Do it, man. Yeah, that was not expected, but I'm yeah. pretty hyped about it. Um, so Happy Life Wood um, posted photos of their golf shoe, and uh, they sent me an early pair. It's friends and family pair, sample pair, super cool. Uh, so I didn't sick. think I'd have something like that. But uh, he gave me, he's like, hey, take photos of it, do your thing. And I was like, I sent it to him right away, like on Saturday. And he's like... Um, we're going to try to get some press using your images. And I was like, sweet. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, vintage golf club inspired the air Jordan nine. Um, I got, I just finished recording the video for it. Um, but then they nice. actually credited me too, which he had to reach. I saw out. that. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> I know. Kind of cool. It's going on the that's LinkedIn. Sick. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> 100%. but, uh, yeah, 100%. they're dropping Wednesday. I'm doing a full video coming out tomorrow on it, um, but pretty cool pair. I'm, yeah. It's just cool to be a part of it, especially with the golf shoe and them. And like, I actually like the shoe. Like, like sometimes stuff like this pops up where I haven't had it before, but 
like you'll will get hit up by a company that we're like not really messing with the shoe and like you mm. still got to make a review on it or still do like it maybe it's paid or unpaid or whatever the deal is this shoe like regardless of if they were involved in it i would buy it for the golf season like oh, yeah. th- this a brown jordan nine and i don't even like jordan nines that much but i think if they did a really good job on it like a jordan nine if it was a high i would still be a little bit iffy on it because highs and golf shoes don't really work together but it's a jordan nine low all brown looks sweet and it's a golf shoe so like i would buy it and it's got everything else about it is metal so the metal lace loops they have a metal lace charm Mm. the tongue tag is silver chrome there's a metal um it looks like a ball marker on the back. This is completely metal of the Jordan wings logo embroidered 23. Like the details are actually insane on it. The insoles sweet. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped. It's a about sick that. pair, man. They, yeah. They're going to get another it. pair to rock for sure. I they drop Wednesday on the Nike app. Very exciting. Pretty limited too. So of course, well, yeah. Best of luck on copying for retail. I guess like don't go for size 11s. That's I need yeah. to get at least one more pair of them. Exactly. But no, that's, that's amazing. What about you this week, man? Let's see. Uh, this past weekend. Well, this whole past week, Anna was on spring break. So we spent just a lot of time together hanging out. Mm-hmm. She was at home. I was still working, but I was working from home. So it was like the second I got off, we were out doing whatever. So yeah, it's pretty, Pretty chill, relaxing. Oh, these games. A, well, they started up this past week, like middle of the week. So we started yeah. going, or I think they started up on Friday here. So we went down there to watch it. Didn't go, didn't get tickets. Just watched it on the green, and then Sunday. Well, we just went the to whole area down there looks like a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it's a blast, man. It's a blast. But we went on Sunday with. Uh, one of my followers, actually, this dude's dope. His name's uh, David. He's been following me forever. But uh, we DM all the time. He started a little sneaker page because he was like, I want to start doing something like this, so I'm going to do it. Just taking photos of all his shoes, and it's going really well. But he hit me up, and he was like, yo, if you want Anna want to come, I got two extra tickets. So we took him up on the offer, hung out down there with them for a little bit, and just enjoyed the game. But that was a blast. Uh Saturday was Got Soul. Got Soul was slammed as always. Like they they go hard, dude. They go so hard for all of these events. Met so many people that were fans of the podcast, fans of what I'm doing. It was just mm-hmm. I don't want to say it was overwhelming, but it was like sick. It was one of those <laughs> things where it's like one person asks for a photo and then five more people line up and you're like, "Oh no. This is this is different. <laughs> so it was like very, I don't know. I just felt honored. It was Especially really cool. Especially after the recent blow up of your socials. That's pretty fun to oh, see. Oh, yeah, dude. It, it was amazing. And uh, honestly, like five or six people being like, I love the podcast. Love all you guys' content oh, and everything that. you do. And I was just Shout like. Shout out those people. I was like, that's crazy to me, dude. It's just something I never would have expected. But that was pretty cool. Um, outside of Got Soul, after that, me and Anna met up with uh, it's Rillo, his Joe Cirillo. He does like a um, tech content, essentially kills it. Visuals are one of the incredible. best tech creators Easily. by far. Easily. Dude, his editing so, is just—I don't know what it's it is. So it's, good. it's so good, so good. It makes no sense, but he's hilarious. I we had such a blast hanging out with them. <laughs> he hit me up like a probably like mid last week and he was like hey this brand they do i don't even know what you consider it it's like top golf but for darts essentially where you mm-hmm. have your little booth set up you can have your little private parties with food drinks whatever you want so he was like hey they invited me out everything's included all they want me to do is a story post i have a few tickets you want to come and we were like why not, dude? So obviously we just <laughs> hung out on the west side, threw some darts. I won the first game. He won all the others. I think I just won off pure luck, but it was it was a blast, honestly. It was a really cool little company business they have set up. So we're definitely gonna go back to that. Um 
Let's see. Outside of that, it's really it. Busy, busy just weekend walking over to the Brave Stadium a lot, trying to relax and enjoy the time that I have with Anna before she goes back to work today. Um, yep. Uh, I got some shoes. Shoes were cool. Adidas finally sent me over the j j j jound Sambas. These things yeah, are yes. actually like really sick. I mean, I wore them all day on Saturday. Obviously, they're going to crease a little bit, but like it's nothing crazy. Leather quality on the entire shoe is nuts, even on the insole sock liner. I'd, are they worth the 250 retail price? I don't know. That's up to you. Well, what's resale like, on them, too? Four, five. Like, yeah, so are they worth steep. four or five hundred? <laughs> Ugh, that's the thing. I'm like, they are worth 250 because they're reselling. Exactly. But I'm like, if I had the money and I wanted arguably the highest quality pair of Sambas that you could get, mm -hmm. and you're willing, you're just like, eh, 400 bucks, whatever, I would definitely go for them. And they're clean. I just, like the new tongue they put on them is really sick too. Like there's just no branding, nothing. Super j j j jound. So that's my cup of tea. Uh, the only thing that was weird about him, I, I sent you the photo, but so I hit up the Adidas reps probably like two or three weeks ago, and I was like, hey, because the, these were supposed to come out, I think, later that week. And I was like, is there any way you could throw me over a pair because I want to review them and rock them? And they were like, we'll see what we can do. So shout out to Alex over at Pitch Blend. She sent me over a pair, and she was like, it's on the way. I was like, awesome. So I opened the box, and the first thing you see is the little goat, like little <laughs> receipt or authenticity thing. And I was like, man, they really bought me a pair off goat <laughs> to send to me. That's <laughs> crazy. So made it even more exciting. But I was like, do I? Did y'all really have to do this? That, that's sweet. That's sick. I, <laughs> I was very stoked. And then uh, the guys over at which shoe is the best? Asics actually hit me up and sent over the hidden gel NYCs that are like inspired by graphic design and Photoshop. I wasn't even expecting these. The dude that does their brand marketing hit me up and he was like, Hey, would you want to review some Asics? I was like, sure. He's like, cool. I'll send you over a care package. I was like, Oh, awesome. Amazing. That's sick. So the package showed up and I was kind of expecting, expecting maybe like a few pairs maybe like two or three just to kind of you know review a few throw them up see how it goes and i opened the box and it was just the hidden pair and i was like oh snap that's, that's not sweet. what i was expecting at all and he gave me a little note that just says enjoy it a6 hidden so i was over the moon excited and growing up using like photoshop and all the adobe suite like in high school oh, yeah. That's a pair that I was really excited to check out, but knew I wouldn't get them. Uh, they do have a broader release, I think, on the 12th. So if you're looking to get a pair, anybody Friday, listening, yep. I think it's the day this drops. So if you listen to this early, you may have a chance. So fingers crossed. But that's a both two super sick pairs that I'm just super excited for. But uh, other than that, that's about it. That's about it, dude. We can dive into all this sneaker news if you want. Let's do it. Uh, Let's do uh, it. There's a freaking there's a freaking lot to go into today. There is. Um a lot of fun stuff. All right, let's start off hot. I'm on Manier Jordan three. Mm. Rendition number two. Uh first of all, it's hard to come up and come out with a second version after the True. first version of the Amo Manier Jordan 3 because that was like sneaker of the year, like best silhouette ever, best colorway ever, like best collab ever, like put Amo Manier on the a lot map. of people, it's the best Jordan 3. Oh, ever. yeah. No, I like it, it's, yeah, it's one of those shoes. And now we're getting a black version of it, essentially. Nothing else is crazy different. It's just an all black. It looks like a black cement 3, but it's Amo Manier where it's the sail midsole, that Amo Manier purple purple guts the satin inside with the stitching but then it just looks like it's black I, I do like the sail on the back with the nike Air. i agree it's um, it's super minimal 
and that's what I love about it. Like this, this is gonna be another hot release for sure. I'm passing on these. Not a fan of which them. is fair. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, it's it's totally. You know what it is? It's when you have Chipotle first, and then you go to Qdoba, and everything at <laughs> Qdoba you're comparing to Chipotle because that was the first thing. Everything yeah. on this one, like you can't. Like that was the release. I didn't think they would ever do another Jordan three, and now they're doing another one, and it's like, oh, I'm comparing it to the first one, and that's like, yeah, that colorway's burned into your mind, and now this feels like the knockoff version almost because it's the second one, like. I definitely. I don't know. That. It, it just sense. doesn't have the appeal that the first one did in my mind. Like the colors don't match as well as the that. first one. But but if you're someone that's into darker shoes, oh they, yeah, they may like this more. You know, for me personally, I like the first one better because I'm more into you know lighter colors. I don't really mm-hmm. wear much or many black shoes, but if that's your thing, this is a good one. It's definitely a good yep. one. Yep. No, I completely agree. I'm on near premium materials, premium packaging. I'm assuming everything's going to be awesome on them. So, yeah. If you like them, go for them. Otherwise, yeah, pass. <laughs> There's no telling. There's no yeah. telling, man. Isn't there? I think there is another three dropping along with these, right? Or is it the four that I'm thinking of? That's like the. There's another one. four that's yeah. been rumored. For some reason. Oh, yeah, that's the other three. We've been getting different leaks the with them. This is an all white with a yeah. couple of different accents. The fours are just an inverted color of the other fours. Um, mm-hmm. Hard to tell what samples and what's not, especially when the man himself is wearing them on foot. So it could be yeah. like a one on one sample. Um, but yeah, there's no telling. They're sticking oh, to the I'm formula. Here. Same color palettes. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. People like them. So I'm next up people. we got uh the sneaker god himself on the basketball court, PJ Tucker. He's mm-hmm. getting his own collab with Nike on the Air Flight eighty nine. Um holy ads complex. First of all, this colorway is sweet. <laughs> all blue. Yeah. Light blue. The Air Flight eighty nine I'm not super familiar with, but it reminds me a lot of the Jordan Three Tinkers with that swoosh. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's clean. It's, Jordan Four. It's a 4 model also. they haven't done a lot with recently. I know they did the Stussy collab on these, if I'm not mistaken. That had like the snakeskin sort of side oh, panel. Oh, is that? One? I think it was these. But those have been growing on me. That brown pair. Yeah, those look good too. But I mean, arguably, this may be the best colorway of the model. In my opinion, I think it does have like a snakeskin upper as well. It's kind of hard to tell from the photos, but I think these are sick. If that was a a model that I, you know, liked, like the bulkier shoe, these Mm -hmm. are a must. I think these are slick. See, I'm looking. I'm not seeing the Stussies. Oh, they were the Air Flight. It was this model. I mean, they were the Air Flight. Yeah. They were the Air Flight 89. The Lacan okay. SP. Um, those are cheap. I thought they were a couple hundred bucks. They're only 150 bucks. Oh, damn. That's probably what retail the, is, too. <laughs> or at least close. Yeah. Those yeah. are clean. I like these. Um, PJ Tucker was also seen rocking some PE Devin Bookers. Yeah. Um, recently, oh, here's some more images of the flights. Kind of a cool That's back cool. heel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was seen rocking some PEs of some Devin Booker's. It was this pair, and then it was a green pair, I believe. Um yeah, this like all red so, with gum outsole. Mm-hmm. I like those. I like those. Both cool box good, on dude. these flights. Yeah. That's gorgeous. So yeah, I mean, PJ doesn't surprise me. He's the man. Killing it. Deserves more collabs, man. Um yeah, hundred percent. This is a big one. You kind of hinted at it in the intro. Feel free to take it away here. Oh, dude, this is crazy. I've been seeing so many posts about this over the weekend, but apparently we're getting around 1 million pairs of the Military Blue Air Jordan 4s, or what are they called now? It's not military. It's a, oh, what is it? 
Mm, you got it. Taking a sip of my water, the industrial blues, I think. Industrial blue, that's it. So, yeah, it's it's kind of surprising. I don't know how I really feel about it because I feel mm. like it's an easy shoe for everybody to wear, which is probably why they're putting out so many pairs of these because it's just, you know, blue, white, a little bit of gray on a mm-hmm. Jordan 4, super accessible. Everyone can rock this. But at the end of the day, it's one of those shoes where it's like it's cool if a few people have it, but when they give it to absolutely everybody, because I know where I live, I'm going to see these everywhere. <laughs> They're going to be the new Sambas and Air Force One. So it's like, you know, at first you get excited about it, and then now I'm like, uh, is it going to be that cool anymore? And I hate saying it like that because it makes you sound sort of like just a hype beast, but at the end of the day, it's like, if everyone's wearing the same shoe, it's like kind of loses the cool factor. But what do you think? No, I, I totally get that. I, I see it in a little different light. Obviously the sneaker culture in Minnesota is a lot different than Atlanta. Obviously you guys get all the events and everything. We get nothing (laughs) with scraps. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, like our entire sneaker culture is like when you go to the mall of America, that, like where you see all the shoes, like that's it. You're Otherwise, the sneaker like, culture. I don't, that's a stretch, but uh, no, it's, 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 it's the Midwest. It's winter. It's like, it's wet. Like it was raining today. Like you just don't get people rocking shoes as much, but I think Nike's trying to cash in, sell a million pairs. They know they're going to sell out of them. Let's dump a F ton of shoes on the market. Essentially. And just go crazy with it. They're still going to resell, honestly. I, you know I'm what? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Cause... Probably around 300 after maybe a few months. See, I'm know. torn now. Because the one shoe that really screwed my perception of the market, like you figured we're in a new era, stuff's not reselling. You can kind of pick and choose like a couple that are going to resell and like look at past models that are reselling. And the Jordan one high 85 metallic red that has not even released yet is going for like $140. You can get them for like a hundred bucks on stock X. Every other model of the 85 is like two, 300 bucks. Yeah. So that like messed my perception up quite a bit. This is another one where I would compare this basically to the pine green SB fours, even though this is not an SB, but it looks essentially the same yeah. thing. And those are going for, okay. Six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a brand new pair. Used pairs go for five, six hundred. Like they're hard to find for that. Which is so, crazy. I, if these go for anything under three hundred, I would be hyped about. If they went for under retail, I'd be not surprised either. I don't really know what to take it as. If I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get a pair regardless. I'm gonna rock them. I mean, it's just such a good shoe to wear. Here's all the release people. We got Nike, Foot Locker, Finish Line, JD Sports, Dix, NBA Store, Nordstrom, Sneaker Politics, Woodstack, Concepts, SNS, <laughs> Takeout NY, Sneakers in US. Like every May 25th, 215 retail price. Interesting. They dropped the retail price $5. That's actually really interesting. I that's very telling. Yeah. I that's huge. It's five dollars, but I don't think they've ever dropped a retail price on a Jordan Four. What's yeah. interesting about that is that's just saying that hey, there's going to be a ton of stock of these, and they really want to sell out of them. That's true. I mean, that's dude, I'm excited for everyone who wants them because you can easily get mm-hmm. them, and that that makes me happy because it's annoying when a yeah. shoe that drops and every you like it and you can't get it like. Here you go, yeah, because you know you're gonna pay resale for it, but if you can just catch it for retail and maybe double up, yeah. yeah no, I'm. And another shoe that I wish they would just do this with is the white cement Jordan Four. It's been yeah. almost ten years. We haven't seen a pair since 2016, which 2016 being seven eight years away, like that seems weird in itself. But like we haven't seen, yeah. and that version was not even that good material wise. I hope they do like a true to spec 1989 Jordan Four white cement. And dump a ton of them just like this. So, I mean, in my opinion, they should do this with every retro, retro, you know, release. ASAP. Like, yep. Just make them enough where people can buy them, dude. 
Like I'm in it. I'm I'm here for it. I, the market's down. Stuff doesn't resell. I'm fine with it. The true sneaker heads are still here, still buying stuff. So, facts. Military blues like or industrial blues. My bad. Industrial blues. <laughs> um, staying on the topic of retros, we got another fun one. We got two new fun ones. Uh, first of all, the Jordan Five Black Metallic, one of my favorite mm-hmm. Jordan Fives ever, Same. coming back next year for the 35th anniversary. I could never see you rocking a pair of these. <laughs> I know. I oh. There's so many Jordan models that I've always loved. The main two being the fives and the elevens. Could never pull them off, but just aesthetically, like this is a sick looking shoe, dude. Mm-hmm. I've always loved these. I liked these before I liked ones. I'm not even gonna lie. Like <laughs> that was just. I don't blame that you. Was it. There's a lot to offer with this shoe. Yeah, and it's just so unique. Hmm. Iconic. We don't have an. Iconic. It is, dude. We don't have an actual date, though, do we? I think it's just 2025. Mm, is what they're saying. 2015 or tw- 2015. 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2025. <laughs> no, nah, those yeah. are gonna be sick. Hopefully, they do like something similar to the militaries. Like maybe not a million, but just drop enough. That's all mm-hmm. people want. Enough to get. No, I completely agree. Um. And then along with that, we're also getting some flu game Jordan 12s, 2025. I like it. Another iconic, iconic well. pair. Not my favorite, but Food another Boys iconic pair. 12. Yeah. What, uh, when's the last time we got these, though? The flu game. 2016, it says. Okay. So not too bad. Do you want to hear a funny story about this pair? I would love to. That's going to completely out me. Um <laughs> so well it's actually it's an extensive story but it's not really so my wife and i we've always had this joke that i forget her birthday every year it's march 12th i've always joked that it's march 13th and i'll say that and it's like i know like it's march 12th but like i always joked like march 13th so my 12s and 13s have been kind of interchangeable um (laughs) the last couple of years anyway sneaker con um I don't know when it was, but it might have been Atlanta when I met you for the first time. Okay. But we got me and Chance and Alex and I think Romy and a couple other people. We did like the sneaker con panel and there was like a lot of people there and it was like a trivia deal. And Romy was doing this new series. And anyways, get up to my question. I get up to the mic and a whole bunch of people watching and sneaker convention. Like I'm a sneaker content creator. Like this is like the most fraudulent thing you could do. And Romy is interviewing me, and she's like, all right, what pair of shoes was Jordan wearing during his iconic flu game? Guess what I said? Oh, no. The Jordan 13. 13. That's hilarious. And the crowd was like, oh, like, what the hell? Like, (laughs) I was like, I screwed that up. Like, I knew it right away. I was like, I can't recover from this. And it was like. Yeah, you can't like that was the most fraudulent I've ever felt in my life because it's like we're the TikTokers or like the the COVID sneaker creators, like the yeah. flu game thirteens, like man, crazy. Fraudulent. I have a similar story when I was at I think it was the last sneaker con they had in Atlanta. Rami was there and she was doing some like interviews, her the things she does, and one of the questions she asked me. Luckily, she didn't even put this in a video but she was like talking about michael jordan's basketball career and all this stuff and she i think it was a similar question like what sneakers was michael jordan wearing when something something in his basketball career and i was Mm -hmm. just like i don't know i don't watch baseball like that (laughs) and then she like looked at me and i was like oh yeah basketball basketball that that's the sport he plays and i was like (laughs) I don't know. I mean, he did play baseball. <laughs> he did. He did. And maybe the question was uh, a phrase like that, but it ended with me being like, I don't watch baseball that much, so I don't I don't know. And that's she true. To me like, <laughs> man, true. what are you talking about? And I was like, I don't even know what I'm talking about, man. But interview it's... like questions like that on the spot when it's live and people are watching, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Dude, too many things. Yeah, I completely agree. Another story. At the gym, there's this company, Seek. 
supply they sell protein powder but it's not like thick it's like fruity and it like tastes good i followed them on tiktok for years now they started up in covid they've done like a million in sales tiktok shot like they're super successful and they're based out of minnesota and they do like pop-ups at gym like people come up they're like hey try our protein blah 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 same thing just got done with a workout go up there i don't even know what i said i was like dude i follow you since like 1k on tiktok like no i didn't like probably like 510k but like yeah it was so like i want to kill myself like when that stuff happens it's so bad and yeah i don't know i just put on a spot like that like people that can like one person i'll credit right now jock slade and i was just talking to steve jr happy life void he is such good off the cuff live stuff he's got his own golf show on the golf channel i saw a clip of him like doing a story talking super in depth and not doing any like ums or ooms or whatever and he's got a bunch of people watching he's nailing it he's putting in phrases like to make like a recording a video without multiple takes like just recording it is insane i I think the podcast has helped us a lot with that and just talking and speaking if we went and listened to our first episode it would probably be super cringy but you got to start somewhere but that the other day did you? <laughs> I, I wanted have to, to do. I had now. it pulled up, and I was like, "I need to watch that soon." So it's on the list. We should we should both do it and be like, "Oh, wow!" If, honestly, if we let's make that a goal this week, listen to the first week and come back with thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I like, it. but it, like no, it. it's if anything comes out of this podcast, I think we've both learned how to speak off the cuff better, which is good. So, <laughs> 100%. Uh, 100%. um, all right, reeling it back in sneaker news, Futura. We're actually getting two different SBs. So we talked about these a couple episodes ago, maybe like five, mm-hmm. ten episodes ago. Can't really remember, but we were talking about the blue pair, early pairs. There was conspiracies on the stitching on the midsole. Was it white or was it blue? What's legit? Like well, different stuff. And now we got a completely new pair was topic. coming out. What was that? I didn't know that was a topic people were diving into the stitching so it was another one of these like private selection scandals kind of deal and who has the real early pair and and one of the things that they talked about was is the mid- midsole stitching supposed to be blue or is it supposed to be white and i can't even remember which which is legit i'm assuming it's blue because i'm looking at this but there was a couple of people that are early pairs like i don't know what the deal was but here's private selections pair so it must have been this blue um, yeah. So now I'm I know, back at our photos. I'm like, what color? Is it? <laughs> but I Ours know Futura blue. commented, "Yours is blue." Uh huh. Okay. I believe that's the side to stand on. Um, but it was like Futura commented on it, and it's like a couple of different things like that. I think they follow me on Instagram, which is kind of weird. But Damn. um. The uh, we're getting another pair that just kind of popped up. I think they posted a picture of it or whatever the deal was. Um, but it's pink swoosh, like a sunset side panel, crazy like Paris SB type design on the panels. Toe box looks like it's spray painted. These are better cool. than the blue pair by far. Really? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm biased. I'm. Honestly, I could rock both, and I probably will get both if they're not crazy resell or if you can actually hit them for retail. But, yeah, these are these are in the contention for a sneak of the year, in my opinion. I get that. I love the way the friends and family pair looks, but for wearability, me personally, I would wear the bluish pair more. But Definitely yeah, easier that, to rock. That friends and family does look slick. Is it that does. the friends and family? Is that what it is? Yeah, the yellow, the the new oh, pair we sucks. saw. Yeah, because when I think original photos were circulating, Futura commented like code name general release on the blue pair. Mm. So kind of assuming I don't know if he said anything outright about it being limited friends and family, whatever. But if I had to guess, that's what they're gonna do. But they're sick, dude. Yeah, those are money. May of twenty twenty four. That's, crazy. That's what they have on their Instagram. It's not bad. Coming up, dude. Uh, I like before it. Before we I move like on, dude, shout out to Nina Chanel Abney for commenting on the video from last week. Hell yeah, dude. Threes. That was. I lit. love that. I was excited. That was crazy. And 
after I posted that, we had more photos come out too. Let me pull them up. Um, mm-hmm. We weren't gonna yeah. get. Yeah, I saw before. that. I was like, of course, right after we yeah. talked about it. Now there's more photos where we can see more detail. But it's how it mm-hmm. always happens, man. Oh yeah, you happens. know it does. But uh, yeah, the the shoes, uh, money, money. That's for sure. I like them a lot. I mean, they're uh, greens. Talked about it. One of my favorite colors. Yeah, orange, such a good accent color, and they're just, I love them. They look good. I think my only gripe is the outsole, just because it looks a little too kitty. I guess like it looks like it would kind of be on a GS shoe and I'm like, that's fine. Cause it's on the bottom. No one's going to see it, but that's the only gripe I have. But the rest of the shoe is beautiful. So I actually saw, and I kind of wanted to talk to you about this too. So if you look at this kind of a little thing that's popped up, I don't know who I saw it on, but um, so look at these photos, look at the colors, the green, the tone of the green the midsole. It's, what what color would you say right this now, the is? You may have to share the screen again because I am not seeing it. Okay. Uh oh. There we go. All right. There we go. I just reshared it. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Say that okay. again. Midsole. All right. So, what color would you call this if you were to try and d- describe this to a blind person or somebody listening to a podcast? What color tone is this midsole? It looks more gray-ish, but it's also kind of sale. Like, it's hard to tell from the photos, but it does look a little more on the gray side. I I would say like a sand sale. Yeah. Definitely could be gray. Yeah. And I think these are the most color accurate photos um, that we've seen so far. The Mm -hmm. first images were these. Yeah. Yeah. Where the midsole looks yellow or dark sail. Mm. And I saw somebody talk about how the Kith filter, the Tyler Manser filter, the the effect that Kith does on their photos and what he does, Aaron Blink, and like the style of it. And it made me think about it where this shoe looks better than this shoe. In my opinion, it doesn't look as kiddish. That also looks more yeah. professional. And it made me think that it's kind of crazy when you think about it. When somebody designs a shoe, and I was thinking about this when I was taking photos of the Happy Life Wood ones. When somebody designs a shoe and picks the exact color tones, color codes, different everything on it, customize it to their likeness. And a photographer like you, me, Tyler... Andy, whatever, somebody that's making launch photos, if you tweak the color grading on it to maybe maybe look at more appealing or more mm. warm or more cool, it definitely, and if it's the first photos coming out, it definitely tweaks your thinking on the shoe for sure. And I, yeah. it almost made me think of like, if I made all the Happy Life Wood photos more warm colored, if people would be more drawn to it, and then it changes what people think about the shoe and maybe it hurts the design aspects of the original creator. And this is me just kind of going off on a tangent, but this is a lot more warm, warm wood in the back. It looks like a sail. And then you get the hang tag in on these other images and it's white. And then you look at the photos and it's like almost a gray. So I don't know if you have any thoughts on that, but I saw somebody put Kith filter in quotes on their story and I was like, you know what? You're totally right about that. Got me thinking. Especially since Tyler's the one that took the photos. It's like, mm, I definitely see it though. But I kind of do the same thing. I was looking through some of my photos. Like they, Some of them do have sort of a warmer feel to them. Just, a, just slightly warmer. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. And I don't I do even know what to think about it. it I mean, it's just something I noticed. I saw that and it got me thinking. I mean, I still really like the shoe a lot, but kind of interesting. Because it's still, I mean, compared to the white hang tag, it does look a little more sale creamy, but also mm-hmm. like it's just hard to tell from all the photos. 
It's mm-hmm. always it's always hard to tell. That's why everyone should watch our reviews because photos can be manipulated. Amen to that, brother. Um. All right, we weren't even going to talk those threes, but yeah, shout out. She commented, I don't know, fire emoji or something, but yeah. reposted it to her story. So kind of hyped about that. Oh, she did? I didn't even see that. Yeah, she was kind of dumping a bunch of stuff that people were putting on about it, that but she dumped sense. ours on there too. Let's go. Hidden followed me too and liked that video as well. And I was like, I saw they liked that. That was pretty cool. Let's go. I was hyped. I got to get hyped. a pair of those A6, man. I know. I know. Um, all right. Kind of funny. So we got more Cactus Plant Flea Market Air Force Ones on the way. It's a picture of a little Yachty holding them. We got a green <laughs> pair, a white pair, a black pair, and a pink pair. Um, but there was also kind of another funny story about this. I don't know if you saw it, but I don't even think they have it. But um, Big Sean was sent Frank Ocean's pack, which was pretty funny. Nike sent Frank Ocean or sent Big Sean's. I don't know why I'm blanking on how to say this. Nike sent a package to Big Sean that was supposed to go to Frank Ocean because it had his name on the inside of the label. There we go. (laughs) because <laughs> so, they sent um, big yeah, sean two CPFs. packages they sent him his and frank's oh he got a both <laughs> yeah and he was like damn these are sick also uh frank if you want these you can come get them <laughs> i was like that's hilarious <laughs> that's funny that's hilarious you can come pick them up if you want them if not they're mine but yeah Fair that enough. that i thought was funny good little internet drama i wonder if they did that on purpose there's no telling I feel like that's a good. Yeah, I was thinking that exact starter. same thing, and I was like, "It's weird that I don't think they would do that." Yeah, like I, I don't know. I know. Marketing nowadays, but, though, you have to get creative. True, but mm-hmm. if you had to pick a color on these, what, what would you pick? The green, oh, the black, hard. white, or the purple, pink? I've always really liked the black pair of these because I feel like it just makes it highlights how unique it is because it has that white underlayer on the air mm-hmm. text on the side. Which um, I have seen people paint that underlayer too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they had a whole Nike by you sort of deal with these, like, what, back in 2019 maybe? I mean, it was a few years ago, but... I didn't know that. I don't know. I don't know which I would like. Yeah, because the Nike by you's had, like, the yellow underlayer, I think. Did they actually have? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I think there were like a few different options that you could do as far as customizing. But yeah, I don't know. I don't even, I don't think any of these are my favorite, if I'm being honest. Like I want to like the pink and I want to like the green, but the shades, I'm like, they're a little, a little weird. I do kind of like the pink pair or the purple. Yeah, you are right. They did have that. Um, I think the green pair, if they had the white underlay. Yeah. And you could paint it, like you said, like you could mm-hmm. paint them, make them look really cool. But yeah, if it had the white on all of them, I think it would just look better. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. Personally. I like that outline. Yeah, they're cool. I've never had a pair. Yeah. Materials look nice. They look good. The photo of Yachty is hilarious, though. <laughs> I know. Um... This is kind of a cool one. We got more dot swoosh stuff on the way. The Nike Air Force mm-hmm. One low 404 Air. Um, crazy all blue patent leather upper with no stitch lines, no swoosh. It's just super flat. Um, <clears throat> like an air page would pop up. Yeah. Nothing shows up. Kind of fun. And then uh, translucent outsole. And then even the tongue tags got air. Insoles got air. That's E R R O R, not A R or A I R. So, that swoosh stuff's cool. I mean, I have, yeah, I have. Uh, I don't know if I told you this, but I got some of those NFTs for the artifact dunks. I got two pairs of those that I paid for back in August. I think I get those in August. I'm not sure. I think that's when they ship them. But uh, yeah, what do you think about these? I think they, I've seen a lot of people saying these look like trash. I think they look kind of cool. It's obviously like that's a crease machine. 
Like if you wear these one time, they're cooked. But Display piece for sure. A hundred percent. They really remind me when I used to work at Cole Haan, we had these, it's like a $400 dress shoe they did. And it was all one piece leather that surrounded the shoe. No stitching. I think it was only on the heel or the side. So it reminds me of these a lot, but I, that's like my favorite shade of blue right now, that royal blue. And I'm like, these are slick. Would I ever wear them? No. Display piece all day. And it's like a cool, yeah, make cool. the error code I think is cool too. I agree 100%. Dude, and I think, yeah, retail is only 150 which is kind of surprising to me. This feels like something they would tax. I could Maybe see 190 on these all day. Yeah. But I'm sure the quality is very mid. People are going to Yeah, Pat Mother. They That's cool. Yeah. They are dropping, we don't know yet. This summer is what it says. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. No, not shabby. Uh, some New Balance. Let's mix it up a little bit. You put on here a couple of New Balance 993s coming out this month, it looks like. Yeah, I think they drop on the 25th. Retail price is like 210 which is Ooh. high. But, I mean, same price as a pair of Jordans, better quality. That's the way I look at it. But This yeah, purple getting... is nice. So we got two different colors. We got a purple, and then we have uh, the purple is called Interstellar like mm-hmm. that and then we also have a chive color which is green this is calling yeah. your name all day all day all day probably i'd have to look at all the other 993s that is a model that i've been wanting to try for a while now but that's could easily be my favorite 993 it's just perfect for me very clean. half design. and half midsole half yellow on the back half white in the front you just um, can't beat it same with the purple pair. The purple pair I like a lot. I, want, I just like saying purple, 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 purple. When I was at God Soul, I found a guy who had the – it was the same color purple because last season they did a 990V4 or something like that, same shade. He had them on his table like worn once for 90 bucks, and I was like this Ooh. close to buying them, but I was like <laughs> – I don't need these. Like, I just, I don't need any more shoes right now. So I passed, but I understand these for 90. I'd be like, yeah, all day. But yeah, I think they're both really sick. And I'm here for them bringing this model back around. I like it too. I am here. Um, And then wrapping it up, we got one that we kind of already talked about, but we're getting the official release. Of the Hidden NY A6 Gel NYC. These are hot, dude. They're definitely Retail hot. 170. 170? It's not terrible. I mean, Resell's pretty... like 270 right now. Really? That's not too bad. I'm curious. Yeah, I want to get a pair of these. Are gonna be. I like these a lot. It's one of those that, like, the first time I saw it, I was like, ah, I mean, I'll pass. And then more info came out about like all the details and what the shoe is inspired by. And it was like, Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. This makes sense. Now. The only thing I didn't notice at first is like the gel pads pods. You can't even really see it, but they're like this translucent blue, mm. which they just look green, obviously. Cause they're covered by green, but it's interesting. And on the little pull tab on the back, it's this 3M, but if you look at it the right way, it says hidden and just has repeating H logos, which I don't even think really? you can see in photos, but pretty, yep, pretty cool. Yeah, can. Very, very yep. slightly. It's cool. That was one of the first details I noticed that I was like, oh, oh, that's cool. But, dude, hidden Yeah, I like it. that. Hidden. Yeah, I got their uh, the Clarks, their first shoe that they ever mm. did. They're cooked, though. I wore them way too much. I wanted those so bad when they came out. I really want to get some hidden merch, but every time they drop, I'm either like too picky or if I were to buy something, I would be buying it just to buy it. It's not like, oh, I love that piece. I'm just like, oh, I want a hidden shirt. I have to get this. So I'm like, yeah, no, I I feel that. Too picky. Too picky. I just don't buy 
clothing. I mean, that's something I just, I don't know. I don't either. I like bought this, bought this shirt, Nike ACG for 15 That's a tight bucks shirt. Better generation, super good quality. I've been wearing it a bunch. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Champ sends me a bunch of clothing and I just don't, I don't buy clothes. Yeah. I'm weird. I'm weird about wearing brands too. Like, I just like plain. Nothing. Yeah, I, I'm the same. All Shaka wear t shirts on top and then some sort of black jogger on the bottom and then usually shorts in the summer. Yep. That's it. We're basic and that's okay. It's all about the shoes, man. <laughs> it's all about the shoes. Even though we're called but... the Beyond Kicks podcast, maybe we should be exploring stuff other than kicks. We need to soon. I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to talk about. We'll get there. It'll evolve. I mean, views are popping on the YouTube. Thank you for everyone who's been tuning in. So Seriously. No, it's been crazy. Just gotta keep cranking it. Moving no nut. But that's pretty much it for today. We will catch you guys next week and appreciate you listening. Peace. Peace out.